Hello everybody, Sebastian here from Everyday Biking and welcome back to another video. Today is going to be the third episode of Project Bike. We've done the bike check, done the stock review, and today we're getting on to the first set of mods. So today we will be installing some tubeless wheels along with some different grips because I personally don't like these specialized grips. They're nice and all, but I like the Von Traeger ones I've been running for a while much better. So let's get started. First, we're gonna take off the wheels and get them ready to put on the tubeless tires. So let's go. So what we need for this modification are some tire levers. So I got two Park Tool T11-1.2 tire levers, some Stans tire sealant for tubeless tires, 32 ounces. I got the big jug because they're 29ers. The tires I went with are some Michelin 29 by 2.35 um mix wild am which are mixed terrain they're super aggressive and the reason why i went with 2.35 is because this aggressive tread on the michelin will give me as much grip as the 29 by 2.6 that are currently on the bike and since it is a higher quality tire and it's tubeless the lower pressures i can run in the tire will give me more grip than the 2.6s that aren't tubeless would and then I also have some just basic generic tubeless valve stems and I'm keeping these in my pocket so I don't lose them. We will be also throwing on these Bontrager RL XL grips because honestly, these grips I love compared to the specialized grips I have. These are my favorite grip. I've ridden these exact grips actually on all my bikes and I just take them off before I get rid of them. So let's get started. So I have yet to get a bike stand, which I'm waiting on getting. So we're just flipping the bike upside down for this video, getting everything ready. So I believe, yes, it's a through act, full front and back, which is very nice because my Roscoe never had that and that's a lot more money. But yes, so let's get these wheels off. All right guys, so after breaking a sweat and 20 minutes later, finally got it off. I think I see the issue here. I think someone decided when they built this bike to strip out the threads. So, you know, I'm gonna be contacting the bike shop I bought this bike from. It was not County Cycle who was generous enough to provide us with these awesome supplies to make this upgrade possible. Uh, we'll have their Instagram in the link below. But yes, the bike I ordered this from, I would have got it from County if, you know, they weren't out of stock and, you know, because of COVID and everything, everyone's out of stock. But anyways, County Cycle, great. But this, I did not get this bike from County Cycle. But where I did get it from, someone decided to, yeah, strip it all out on me. Look at that. That's, that's, that's nice. And you know, it's funny, I asked them if I could take the bike to build it for a video, and they said no, the manufacturer doesn't like us giving bikes for customers to build because of warranty purposes. Well, because of that bike shop, I may now be getting a new frame for this bike. All right, so both tires are off the bike, and now we drain them. All right, both tires are drained, now to break them off the bead. Rear wheel off, now for the front. So we have both the tires and tubes off, okay? And now we got tires. Make sure that when you're doing this, that your rims have rim tape. Because if they're not, they don't have rim tape, you will leak sealant through the spoke and everything and your tires just won't see it. So now let's get to putting the Michelins on these rims. So really for this guys, you just wanna, if you don't have a compressor, this is just a standard pump. Just double check the max pressure. And what you wanna do is you wanna just pump it as fast as you can. So let's go, Alex. Give me some music. So now what you wanna do is after you get her to seat, you wanna shake it around a little, get all that ceiling going. What I like to do, Take off this, I think I seized up my brake rotor. Sticking the through, and just give it a good spin. Now let me do the second one and I'll come back to you guys. 
All right, guys, so we got the Michelin, uh, what is it, Force AM in the back, which is for harder and drier surfaces, which means it'll roll faster. Uh, nice tire to have in the back, just a little quicker roll in. Um, it still grip extremely well, this tread and it's tubeless. So compared to those tires there, I'd be able to run much lower PSI, give me better grip on the trail. And up front, we have the Wild AM Michelin tire which is a lot more aggressive, a little more aggressive. It's more for muddy, wet terrain, as the packaging says. Mixed terrain, extra grip. And on the back here, we can see the Wild AM and the Force AM is a perfect pair for soft, mixed terrain for All Trail Mountain. Uh, so yeah, these things are great. They look nice and the white paint make it look great. Now we just have the grips left, let's go. So thank you for watching the third episode of Project Bike, the first episode where we dig into some customizations on the bike. These green grips look great with that. Should I add crank boots? I have some green crank boots. Should we put them on? Should we not? Up to y'all. Comment down below. Up to you guys. But yes, those Michelin tires are going to perform much better on the trail. They are tubeless now, so I can run lower pressures without worrying about pin flats. And look, they're so grippy, they're getting rocks stuck in them from the gravel. And yes, I did film this video in the middle of a park. And yes, I did have people ask me if I needed help, which I guess they thought I had mechanical issues. It was very nice. Anyways, thank you for watching the first episode of customization on Project Bike or Project Bike episode three. I hope you guys enjoyed. What do you guys want to see next? Leave it in the comments below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell notification again. Leave a like and we'll see you next time.